Hey guys, welcome back to the Booster Demon channel. It is I, the Booster Demon, and today we are opening up Everfest. First edition from Flesh and Blood. Alright, nice, nice, nice. Alright, I've been gone for a while, but I uh, had a couple of life changes, so been kind of out of the loop. Also, I was going to do some Innistrad uh, block unopen uh, openings, but uh, it just the set wasn't super exciting to me, so I uh, just did not record any openings. <laughs> it was just lazy. I had a lot of stuff going on, so uh, forgive me uh, for that, but we are back. We will be covering, obviously, Everfest, and we will also be covering Kamigawa when it comes out um, for Magic, and so stay tuned for that. And here we go, Flesh and Blood, Everfest, first edition booster box. Alright, well, full disclosure, this is not my first box of Everfest that I've opened. I've opened a previous box. This is my second box, actually, of Everfest from the case that I bought. And uh, yeah, so I can say that the new paper packaging is the best I've seen so far of any company that's put out paper packaging. This is very reminiscent of uh, old, you know, old baseball card packaging kind of, except it's better sealed usually. Almost like a wax pack, but not really. Uh, I'm Because of all the all of this, I'm not really sure how recyclable it is. I don't know if it says. Yeah, I don't know, so, yep, don't know. Do not know, but uh, let's see if this box is better than my last box, which is possible, uh, depending on what we get. All right, so I know this is the foil, and even though you can get cold foil not in the foil slot, I think it's kind of, I think you can get them in, uh, well, anyways, we'll see. All right, so. I'm not going to go over the commons a whole lot. So we're just going to go and look at the rares. On up to Talisman the Warfare, that's our carnival slot. 100 wins and an Outland Skirmish foil. Okay. I do like these packs. They open pretty easy. Yeah. They do maintain their shape though, unlike the... Oops. Okay, this is our foil, in case we get an exciting foil. <laughs> yes. Okay. And I'm just going to ease up the... Slow my roll a bit, yeah. Because, like, sometimes you can see the cold foiling. So, Amulet of Echoes. That's our Carnival Passing Mirage. And a Coalesce Mirage. So... Two... Four... Six... Eight... Ten... Eleven... Okay, so... I think, I think we're on the right stack here. I'm not 100% sure, but I should be paying attention to that. But had a long day at work. It's 10, hour, 10 hour days are, are killers. Can be, anyways. High Striker. What? We got another legendary? This is the same case. It's an. <laughs> we got an Arcanite Skullcap. Holy crap. Okay. Full disclosure, if you see my video that I am currently uploading to YouTube, my first box had a foil silver, what was it? The the, the, the merchant one, the merchant legendary. Let me, uh, let me grab the box I already cracked here. Oh no, that's right, it's not in that. Sorry, I don't mean to waste time like this on an opening, but that is just, wow. I've never had, wow, that's, I was not even gonna yeah, so I got a Silver Palms, Legendary, Cold Foil from my first box. And now I got an Arcanite Skullcap, two Legendaries in the same box. These are supposed to be like one in, or three in, three Legendaries per every five cases. So I'm not really sure what is happening here. But this is my first set that I've had since um, Crucible, that I've had really good luck with opening first edition product. Uh, if you've ever seen my Tales and Monarch openings for first edition products, you know that my personal pull rates for those two sets have been pretty bad. So, or like sub 
average, I would say. They're not like terrible, terrible, but they're not good. So that is not unexpected. That is crazy. I'll take it. I'll take two legendaries in a case. Wow. I did not expect, I, like I said, I was not even going to open up any more boxes from, <laughs> from this case because I'm like, well, I already hit the legendary, so... But, I, but you know, I, I like to open things, so I just decided I'm just going to keep on opening. All right, whatever. Okay. So that means we still have a cold foil to hit. That was great. I'm going to put the skull cap here. So it is non-foil. Pushing a luck. Uh, 100 wins. Seismic stir. So it, it is like the tunic from um, Crucible, where it is non-foil. Bring my my garbage, my trash closer, so I can just ditch it. Oh my gosh. Problem is, they kind of like, maybe it's just the way I, I, I open them, but they kind of seem to tear halfway through, so I gotta, I gotta up my technique a little bit. Wow, I can't believe I got a skull cap too, in the same case. I did ask a coworker to pick out a case for me, so let's, let's, thank you, Robbie. Potion of Ironhide, Rune Blood Incantation, and I'll zoom in. Oh, that's, pretty sick actually because of that grid. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but there's like a grid in the foil, like a targeting grid, and that looks pretty, pretty nice. And yeah, like there's always like that little bit. I can't, <laughs> I can't like fully, you know, it like catches a little bit of the corner. All right, even bigger than that is my rare, followed by Pierce Reality. Ooh, that's probably interesting looking in foil because of the colors. Steadfast, wow, that's interesting in foil as well, even though it's just a common. Ooh, wow, nice. Well, that was an unexpected surprise. It was a very pleasant surprise, yeah. So Arcanite Skullcap is definitely, definitely something that I will take over a lot of things <laughs> in this set. All right, what do we got? We got Talisman of Balance, T-Bone Red, Slice and Dice Rare. Okay, there we go. Did we already get, oh, no, yeah, we only got two rares so far. Slice and Dice, though, they, they gave that title to a warrior action. I don't know. It's almost, oh, it seems like a, it would be a ninja. Oh, well, whatever. No one hires me to do flavor for anything, so what do I know? Okay, we got a, looks like we got like a, a, a Bravo maybe? Even bigger than that? No, we got a Valda, a Valda Bright Axe. Okay, we got a Hero, nice. Not bad. Okay, even bigger than that. Yeah, I thought maybe it was Bravo, but it's not, it's Valda. I don't really play Blitz anymore, but I actually do prefer C and C, but or CC, classic constructed. But you know, whatever. I'll I'll take her. Uh, Talisman of Tides, Thunderquake. Oh, well, there are foil tokens. Spectral Shield, nice. Well, that's cool. That is a cool token. All right, I'll take that. My first box didn't have any tokens in the foil, so I, I wonder if they're actually semi hard to get. Probably, I don't know, like I said, I didn't, I didn't get that in my first box. I would have remembered someone. Oh, we got a cold foil, cold foil alert. So let's go, foil is a phantasmal haze. Got a high roller, and what's our cold foil? It is a rare, so it's probably a, a, a potion. Amulet of ignition, interesting. Well, that's cool though, it's a generic item, so hey, there you go. All right, I'll take that, I'll take that. Hopefully we get another uh, we get another cold foil, but you, you never know. We are, I mean, listen, we already got a, a legendary. What am what am I even talking about here? Sometimes you just ask too much, right? Amulet of assertiveness. It would be a, it would have been nice to get a, a cold foil amulet of deja vu though, because I do play wizard and release attention, bear fangs. All right, so maybe, maybe we'll get uh, two foil majestics. We only got one in the last one, but that, no, I don't know. We don't. I don't know. I don't know. This, uh, this whole 
cold foil and the carnival slot thing is throwing me off a little bit too. So I'm not really sure. So clarity potion, scour, ooh, majestic. Life of the party rare. All right, that's, a, that's actually a really nice looking card in foil. I think, of that. I think that's Valda, I'm guessing. I think it's Valda. It looks like Valda, doesn't it? Uh, maybe it's not bald. Maybe it's just yeah. Never mind. Not bald though. Bigger than that. Blood rune incantation. Oh, there we go. We got a. Oh, we got a majestic wizard foil scour. Nice. All right. Put that there. Oh. And yeah, I think I put the. I think I did put the tunic back up, or not, not the tunic, the skull cap on there. Two, three, flip that over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rare. Pick a card, any card. Majestic Rolling Thunder, Brute. Wizard foil. I do like getting wizard foils because. Well, the foiling, I got I got a bunch of wizard foils when I first started playing this game. And uh, wizard had some of the best foils because there was always like, they're either flame or lightning effects. And so I decided to actually main wizard. Talisman of Recompense, Slice and Dice, Twin Twisters, blue. And so it's always nice to see wizard getting nice foils. <laughs> Foiling out the, foiling out the wizard deck, you know. All right. Okay, pick a card, any card. Into a rune blood incantation. Into a rune blood incantation. One's yellow, one's red. All right. Wow, two legendaries in the same case. That is just crazy. There we go. Majestic. Oh, oh, that's weird. Oh, I must have gotten a majestic in the carnival slot. So, bingo. He's bending the tea shot. I'm so used to the majestics uh, being in the back slot. I guess it's just if it's generic, it's in the front. So. Doing this flippy floppy stuff that I'm doing here probably isn't like all that. <laughs> it's not the same as back in crew. Oh, oh, I got another cold foil. Amulet of Haven Call. Two cold foils. Wow. And a, and a mask of the bouncing links. Majestic and a wax on. Wow. That was uh that was a pack. Dang. Alright, I'll I'll take packs like that all day long. This has been an amazing one case so far. Thank you, Robbie. My co-worker picked it up for me. Oh, so, ooh. I've never seen a silver token before. Nice. Alright, so yeah, silver's in the game now. Amulet, amulet of Oblation. Pierce Reality. And ooh, another Timekeeper's Whim, except that this is red. I think I have the blue one from the last box. They're just kind of like neat looking. I mean, they are wizard. Oh, deal five arcane damage to target. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> if Timekeeper's Woman is played during an opponent's turn, put it on the bottom. Wow. Okay. Seems good for Kano. Seems like good ones to have foils of, apparently. Maybe. Life of the Party. Okay. Thunderquake. Oh, sick. Wait. This is a Icelander. Icelander. I can't tell. Is this no? I think it's just rainbow foil. Oh, it's okay. Yeah, it's my majestic. It's a rainbow foil Icelander. Wow. Wow. This is a hell of a box. I am super surprised because again, after hitting the silver palms, I think is I keep on remember. I keep on forgetting the name of that card. It's, Silver, silver palms, right? So, oops. I better just keep it out. Yeah, silver palms. Jeez, Jesus Christ. Sorry, guys. I'm just, uh, yeah. I don't know what my my brain is is doing right now. 
But uh, yeah, after hitting the silver palms in that first box, who would have thought that this second box would have had all this crap? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Now I now I finally know what it's like to open up a really nice first edition. <laughs> okay, uh, Talisman of Cremation. I'm, I'm just going to stop now. T-Bone. Foil High Roller. All right. I better put these in better positions than they are here. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, I, I don't mean to take up time in this video, but just... Okay, just leave that here. Just leave it here. Perfect. All right. Now I can reference it for other videos. Wow, this this box, two cold foils, a uh, two young heroes actually, and one of them is foil, and um, a legendary. Wow, this this is uh, this is even crazier than my first box, really theoretically in theory. Okay, yep, high striker, rebel uh, rune blood. Okay, interesting. And a Macho Grande. Macho Grande. Wow. Now I'm really scared to open these two because who knows? It's, it's probably nothing. But I mean, what if it's something? Like, I don't know. This box has been a huge surprise this whole time. So who knows? Who knows? Nobody knows. Only the Shadow knows. Nope. It's just a healing potion, not cold foil. That's fine. Slice and dice. I got a phantasm. Yeah, for a second there, I was kind of like, I was like, is Iceland Icelander supposed to be cold foil? I don't know. Apparently not. It's just rainbow foil, though. I can't tell. It's got a weird foil. Yeah, no, it's rainbow foil. Okay. All right. Oop. Okay. All right. Last pack. Last pack magic. Who knows? Maybe so. Maybe not. We'll find out. Well, no fo cold foil, looks like. So we can. Breathe easy on that. Life of the party. High roller. And a blade. Ooh, a blade runner, though. That's cool. It's a callback to some favorite game, uh, favorite movies of my youth. All right, well, let's review this box. This box was pretty nuts. Three, four, five, as normal, five rare foils. And the uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's crack the bottle. Uh, no crack bobble in the set, apparently. I don't know. One, two, three, four, five. Only six uh, Majestics as opposed to seven Majestics in my last box. But I think this is pretty normal. But we did get a mask. That's good because I play Ninja. And we got a Valda. We got a Hero. We got a Scour. And we got a Bingo, which is generic. And we just got Brood and Runeblade, which I don't play, but... Hey, that's that's pretty. That's that's a hit for me. And let's look at the bounty that is the special cards. So we start off with uh, our foils, uh, majestics, which is an Icelander cold foil. Looks pretty fantastic. A scour from my wizard deck, also very interesting foil. And we got two cold foils, both generic items. Nice because I can use them in any deck. Amulet of Haven Call, and we have an Amulet of Ignition, cold, both in cold foil, both rares, and we have an Arcanite Skullcap. Oh my gosh, what a crazy box. All right, well they just, maybe this case just gets crazier and crazier, who knows, maybe I'll pull a Fable from, I probably, I, I'm not gonna pull a Fable from the third and fourth boxes, but what if I do? I don't know, I didn't expect this, so who knows? All right, well, if you don't see any further videos <laughs> from me tonight, then that means I ripped nothing else in my other two boxes. But I'm going to open them because now I'm curious. Again, I was I was going to stop at box one. And I'm just like, ah, screw it. I'm just going to open more cards. I don't have these cards. So I need to open more cards anyways to get cards to play with. And now I'm glad I did. All right, well, anyways, uh, I hope all of your boxes and packs are... Uh, better than mine and um i hope you guys have a great time ripping everfest this week because it is a release week all right you guys have a great day see you in the next one